How's it going, everybody, and welcome to a very special Blaine Soul live stream. Uh, we're going to be talking about Midnight Sky Pedal Planes. Um, sorry, Midnight Sky Pedal Planes today, and our spe uh, special patch preview. Uh, my name is Jonathan Lian. I'm the associate producer for Blaine Soul, and today I'm very uh, excited <laughs> to introduce you know two very special guests from the uh, the dev team in Korea. So could you please introduce yourselves? Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Jiha Kim, and I'm in charge of project manager Blaine Soul North America and European services in Dev side. Uh, I usually control and decide live update system and content schedule with Nico and Jonathan and a lot of, have a lot of communication with them and it's been uh, five years to join our Blade and Soul Dev team. Hello everybody, my name is Kim Hung Min. Uh, 한국에서도 제 이름은 발음하기가 어려워서 인지시키기가 어려운 편이고요. 그래서 그냥 HM이라 불러주시면 됩니다. 북미 유럽 BNS의 라이프 서비스 디자인을 맡고 있는 게임 디자이너입니다. 주로 게임 내 보상과 인게임 이벤트 디자인을 담당하고 있으며 북미 유럽 CBT 준비부터 지금까지 쭉 같이 해오고 있습니다. Hello everybody, my name is Hun Min Kim. Even people in Korea have trouble pronouncing my name correctly. Uh, you can just call me HM. I'm a game designer and I work on Blade and Soul Live Service Design for North America and Europe. I usually work on in-game rewards and in-game event design. Uh, I joined the team while we were prepping for CBT. All right, yeah, so uh, now that you've gotten to know us, uh, <laughs> so just to talk about what we're going to do to today's show. We're, so today we're going to be previewing our next patch, Midnight Sky Pedal Planes, which is set to release next Wednesday, November 16th. Uh, we're also going to be talking a little bit about the event that runs alongside it. It's going to be called Moonlight Madness, and also diving into uh, some of the other changes in the patch, and uh, with uh, some insight and some interviews with the development team here. So. Um, Really quick, before we start the, the, um, the, the patch preview, before we jump into the content, uh, the first thing that's going to be coming with the patch uh, on next Wednesday is going to be our Fall Treasure Trove. So that's going to be starting uh, on Wednesday and running for about three weeks. And uh, we got some, got some really, really cool stuff in there. We're going to show you in a little bit um, some furry friends for you guys to, to get out of there. Um, additionally, uh, if you guys are familiar with, the, uh, familiar with the last time we ran it, we're going to be running a new Player's Choice sale. Uh, so what that's gonna ha what's going to happen is, once again, you're going to be able to vote for costumes that were previously, avail previously available and the best ones will be put up for sale again um, based on your voting. Um, and lastly, just a quick reminder that the seasons for Wolven Valley, Tower of Infinity, and Tag Match will be ending uh, with the release of Midnight Sky Pedal Planes. So if you want to make sure to uh, get in those game modes, get your ranking up, uh, that's your last chance. So. Um, <laughs> That's just that's it for the quick update. So I think we can jump in game now and start uh, previewing Midnight Sky Pedal Planes. Um, so uh, for those of you that are familiar with the game, uh, this is actually the first time that we're going to be showing uh, first time that 24 player content is going to be available. So uh, Jiha, so what made you guys move towards 24 player content? Uh, as you know, our uh, game content is divided between PvP and PvE and. Uh, usually PvE focuses on solo playing and party playing between four or six people and at that time we wanted to make some more additional contents that many people can join uh, at the same time. So that's why we made the 24 player contents called Midnight Escape Battle Planes and we have more, more of this coming in the future. Right, awesome, yeah. As you can see, yes, she has, has really, really good English, so it's really impressive that she can uh, speak both very fluently. Um, yeah, so, so here, I mean, uh, what were some of the challenges in creating content for a larger group of players compared to having four or six players before? Well, first of all, designing combat between 24 vers players versus a single boss wasn't an easy task. And because the 24 players will each have different abilities, we spent a considerable amount of time balancing the roles and plays while taking each player's ability into uh, consideration. And also, uh, in, on top of that, uh, we need to make sure the teams can communicate with each other effectively as well. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's a definitely really, really exciting. It's the first time that we'll get to really large scale content. And there's, like they said, there's a lot more coming in the future. Um, but with this kind of content, they get to do really big, epic bosses um, and um, just have a lot of coordination between different parties. Um, so basically, 
The way that you access Midnight Sky Pedal Plains, it's located in the Zawe Ruin, I'm uh, sorry, the regular city of Zawe near the uh, Cardinal Gates, uh, near where the other entrances are, and you can see it's in the, it's in the southwest right here. Um, this is a little preview at the tooltip for it. Um, and in order to go inside Midnight Sky Pedal Plains, you have to form an alliance. So an alliance, as you can see here, is a, new, is a new feature, first time it's available, it's going to be able to support up to 24 players. Uh, so this is um, going to be f uh, four parties of six players, and uh, myself right now as the alliance leader, you're able to do management, you can um, you know, move players to different uh, parties to, in order to, s to balance the groups and assign to different assignments. Uh, you you're able to invite other parties into your alliance and, and as long as you have a party slot open. Um, yeah, so we have it all set up already with uh, the help of Justin and Bethany off screen, as well as um, me and uh, HM here are in game. So uh, we're going to jump in uh, to Miss Nice Sky Bowl Plains. So, um, as usual, with a lot of the other um, dungeons, the uh, quests are available right in front of it. So you don't, you don't have to worry about grabbing those. You can just head over to the uh, dungeon entrance and you can grab some of the, the quests for inside. So, I'm just going to do that really quick before I run in. Um, one more thing about Midnight Sky Pedal Planes is that it's uh, not available across server, so you have to do it with players on your server. So let's let's jump in. Jumping. You already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's already inside. Oh, yeah, I'm so I'm gonna join him in a second. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're able to see his screen right here. So you can see the the map. It looks just like uh, Sky Pedal Points. Mm -hmm. However, it's been um, it has a, this this like large blue moonlight all over it. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you want to explain a little bit about the art design behind this zone? Yeah, it's actually... We can run oh. around a bit. Oh. <laughs> we'll run around as you talk, okay. yeah. Our game design team's initial concept was that a monster and their uh, leader monster called Sacred Longi will come out to the sky petal plains to get moonlight energy and make some trouble. And it's up to our players to uh, stop them and rest restore the peace in the midnight uh, sky petal plains. And their request to our our team was to make sure that players can see clearly, even far away. So you can see it's very clear, and you can see everywhere. Yeah, it's it's definitely like a really beautiful zone. You can see the the moonlight. Um, yeah, it looks awesome, and. Um, Really, you know, some of the uh, monsters you might be familiar with from Sky Pedal Plane, but there's also some new cool ones in here, so definitely really awesome. Um, so, uh, if you guys notice on the tooltip, this dungeon's a little bit different than others. Um, you'll notice that you can see, you know, on a normal dungeon, you can see it's like recommended, oh, you Hummin level 10. But if you look at Midnight Sky Pedal Plains, you'll see if the recommended level is all the way from Hummin level 2 to Hummin level 12. So, HM, would you like to explain a little bit about uh, how this content works? 아, 일단 MSP의 던전 가이드가 홍문 레벨 2에서 12로 폭넓게 잡혀 있는 이유는 던전이 크게 세 가지 난이도로 구분되기 때문입니다. 유저는 자신이 공략 가능한 목표를 잡고 도전할 수 있는 있는 게 목적이었고요. 기본적으로 MSP는 필드 몬스터를 잡으면 게이지가 차고 게이지가 꽉 차면 구, 구하기라는 이름의 보스가 나타나면서 이제 진행이 되는 방식인데요. 구하기는 나타날 때마다 점점 강해지고 네, 그 강함의 단계는 총 6단계가 있습니다. 단계가 높아질수록 좀더 강력해지고 난해한 공격 패턴들이 추가됩니다. 일단 1, 2단계에서는 백청산맥에 갓 들어온 유저도 도전해볼 만한 수준으로 잡혀있지만 3, 4단계부터는 일정 이상의 이제 어느 정도 장비를 갖춘 상태여야 하고요. 그리고 5, 6단계부터는 단순히 장비만 갖추면 끝나는 문제가 아니라 팀원들 간의 잘 지어진 역할 분배와 커뮤니케이션이 요구됩니다. Yeah, so the Midnight Sky Pedal Plains um, Dungeon Guide was um, set in a really wide range of, you know, um, home level 2 to 12 because there are three major difficulty levels. Um, this allows the players to select an attainable goal. And with the Midnight Sky Pedal Plains, the bar fills up as you kill more and more field monsters. And once the bar is full, the Sacred Longi appears. And every time the Sacred Longi shows up, the stronger it gets. Um, there are three steps to this. Um, the higher number because means it's just more and more difficult. So, you know, one and two can be cleared by players uh, who just enter Silver Frost. But three or four is where your weapon strength um, start to matter. And at five, or si five and six, in addition to uh, weapon strength, you'll need um, good team communication and collaboration because the attack patterns of the monster gets more and more complicated. 
Yeah, so you can see uh, at the top of our screens what he's talking about here with the rage bar. Uh, well, one second, well, I killed this guy. It's killing me. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Uh, so you can see that right here at the top, the rage bar, see it, just, it just filled up quite a bit as uh, we're actually all in here doing the content along with Bethany. You'll see that this bar is starting to fill up. It's about 35% full right now. And um, that's um, to talk a little bit more about how you can fill the bar efficiently. Mm -hmm. Did we already talk about that part? Yeah, we already uh, talked about it. Already talked about it. So. All right, so, <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I couldn't understand. So, <laughs> so basically, um, as, uh, as you kill more and more stuff, um, mm -hmm. this rage bar is going to fill, and when the bar fills to full, um, what's going to happen is the sacred longui is, is going to spawn, which is the boss, and it spawns in the middle right here in the Twilight Arbor. Um, so when you're trying to kill uh, monsters, basically what you want to look for is this blue moonlight. Um, so what happens in these areas is that um, you want to go to the blue moonlight and you want to uh, kill the monsters uh, around it and then when you defeat it uh, you'll, you'll get to fight these uh, I think it was up there earlier like those really big blue mushrooms mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, after that you're able to um, you know fill up the bar and special monsters will spawn you'll, you'll even get special monsters that can fill up the bar really really quickly so um, yeah there's definitely a couple different ways to fill up the bar and if you get lucky you can mm -hmm. get the boss to spawn really quickly so uh, I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep killing stuff until <laughs> until the boss spawns. Mm -hmm. And you can see also there's you know there's lots of quests around. You can see there's a lot of quest markers around that you can uh, complete quests and earn some of the currency that we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. later. So as you can see, I'm, I'm heading I'm heading towards the blue moonlight right now to kill some monsters. Um, there might be a couple left. Maybe not. Okay, yeah. So. This Moonlight Monstrosity is targetable. It won't be until you clear all the monsters in the area. But once it is, if you take it out, um, then it, it, can, it can cause a... You plant the seed that it drops, and then mm -hmm. it can... You can see what it... Ah, uh, well, I got a full bar, but... <laughs> you can get better, you can get better st stuff that's worth more um, rage. Okay. Bethany. Kill them. <laughs> Please. Wow. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Bethany. <laughs> yeah, and we have Justin running around here. Super tiny lid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, see, we're, we're going to just keep running around until uh, actually the moonlight's in the, in the northwest over here. Mm -hmm. We can uh, keep playing the monsters and uh, get the, the turtle to spawn because I'm sure that's what you guys mm -hmm. want to see. Do you still need to do that? No, he, he, can, he can explain. Oh, sure. If he wants to talk about a little bit more about the, the monsters. Yeah, yeah. 그래서 주, 제 플레이어는 팀, 플로, 팀 플레이를 발휘를 해서 주변에 있는 잡초들을 제거하여 정화 작업을 통해 독구름을 제거할 수 있고 이로 하여금 이제 궁화를 보다 효율적으로 공략할 수 있게 됩니다. 4성부터는 독구름이 생성될 때 5호 대장초라고 하는 약간 서브 보스를 같이 스폰을 하는데요. 네, 이때 기존 정화를 하는 멤버들도 있어야 되지만 여기에 5호 대장초를 잡아줘야 되는 역할이 추가되기 때문에 보다 팀 플레이가 심화되는 효과가 있습니다. 5성부터는 광폭화가 추가되고 이때 기존 공략 외에도 이제 시간 내에 잡아야 한다는 또 리스크가 붙기 때문에 시간 내에 궁화를 잡지 못하면 팀은 전멸합니다. 이를 이제 벗어나기 위해서는 슬슬 정화 작업에 합을 맞췄을 때 생성되는 버프 장판을 통해 팀의 딜링 능력을 극대화시키는 걸 요구받는 시기입니다. The sacred longi gets stronger and stronger as you go up the stages. Uh, the first stage is somewhat um, easy to clear, it's not that difficult, but starting from the second stage, you'll see poison clouds um, that form and take your health away. Um, and these poison clouds disappear um, once you get if you get rid of the reeds around you uh, through the purification. And this is where um, teamwork starts to matter. Um, and starting from stage four, the poison clouds bring out the five wood find uh, chieftains. 
And this is where team play matters even more because you need to divide up roles within the team to deal with you know, both purification and to deal with the, um, the five wood fine chieftains. And starting from you know, stage five, uh, your team will be wiped out if you don't kill the sacred longi in time. And so you know, bringing out the ultimate team play yeah, so basically that's kind of, you know, what we were talking about earlier where you have, you know, coming level 2 all the way to level 12 because, you know, as you progress farther and farther in the, in the stages of Rage, it gets uh, more difficult, um, more mechanics are added, more teamwork is needed, um, you know, you might, you definitely want to uh, have like a, as much coordination as possible when you're here, um, so, but I mean, the first few stages should be pretty easy to clear um, for any group, uh, for most groups, so, um, it's definitely content that's designed, you know, even if, you know, you're not, don't worry if you're not have like the best gear, you, you'll still be able to participate in this content and, and get, hopefully get geared through it by mm -hmm. running it. So um, it'll, you'll, it'll make you a lot stronger, especially uh, we'll, we'll show some of the rewards later, like the, uh, the soul shields. So right now we're still working on um, getting the sacred long to spawn. Obviously, uh, we only have three people running around right now, but you, usually you'd have a raid group of up to 24 players. Mm -hmm. Um, which so you can get it uh, filled a lot faster. Yeah. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, um, the treasure trove is coming uh, next Wednesday mm -hmm. along uh, with the patch. So that's gonna run for three weeks, and you probably you probably saw that um, we have some really sure your pet. yeah we have some really cute pets here. You can see Good he's pet. like kind of, he's like walking <laughs> along with me. <laughs> oh, panda. Yes, panda. So that's this so, cute. so for the first time. Um, they're going to be available, they'll be available for the first I time through bear. the treasure trove. Yes, yes. <laughs> there's a bear, you should definitely need to show the bear. Show me, show me. Show me. Yes. <laughs> ah, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, mm -hmm. they're, they're super cute, um, and uh, obviously there's going to be a lot more stuff in the trove, you know, upgrade materials, mm -hmm. um, outfits, um, tons of stuff. However, um, these, these two are a little special, there's be the first time that mm -hmm. the uh, Panda and the Grizzly will be available, mm -hmm. and just like when we, last time when we released um, released the other uh, new uh, appearances, you're able to turn other uh, the other pets into this um, appearance if you mm -hmm. already have it uh, maxed out, All right, ultimate or awakened stage ten or heroic stage ten. So um, don't worry if you already had a, have a have a leveled up pet, you can just mm -hmm. change how it looks um, by upgrading it. All right, so making progress. Looks like um, Bethany's down in the in the southeast, doing some work. Should just be a short short amount of time now till we get it all mm -hmm. filled up. Um, we can so we can we can go ahead and jump into a little bit about um, talking about the soul shield that you can get from here. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, these are this is a new set of legendary soul shields mm -hmm. um, that are just like the elders class. They are um, class specific, so you can see um, this is the tempest soul shield set for destroyers, and that the the three piece and eight piece set um, enhance certain skills that are specific to my class. Um, while the five piece set is the same for everybody, so these are really really strong. This will be the best in slot um, PV soul shields. You can see uh, you can get really large values on here, 518 critical. Um, before you even fuse, so it's definitely, um, definitely want to get this as soon as possible sure. um, for PvE. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just test some of these wood fiends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it dies pretty fast with the wow. weapons. Okay. <laughs> oh, so we got it. We so got it. now you can see the sacred longevity spawns, you can see mm -hmm. the message, and we can see the rage bar is full 100%. So at this point, your raid group would head to the center, uh, the oh, Twilight no. Arbor. So we're we're oh all gonna <laughs> we're all gonna head to the middle and mm -hmm. fight the Longui. So um, yeah, we all have like GM weapons, so I think it's gonna yeah. die pretty fast. But um, it still looks pretty cool. <laughs> Take one minute or probably less than? I think I think less That's with all three of us hitting it. GM. Yeah. No. <laughs> no yeah. GM. We're definitely cheating a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah. Just move some of this out of the way. See better. Let's see. Mm, looks Beth better. Yeah, yeah. Bethany's about to join us. Hello, and Bethany. And also, <laughs> Justin's walking over too. So, you know, th at this point, your regu comes together, and you, um, yeah, you, you, def you want you try and take out the turtle. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's yes, go. we're ready. Yes. You also see there's a new type of chat. It's Alliance chat. It's slash X. So that, that'll be introduced in this patch. All right, we're going in. I won't, I won't hit it as much just so we can see it in action a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, dying, really, it's dying really fast, so um, I'm just gonna oh. show it. <laughs> Try to show a couple of its moves. All right, it died pretty fast. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Only it was this easy oh. normally. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. All right. Yeah. So we were able to get the uh, stage one treasure. Mm -hmm. You can see as you uh, move up here, you'll get stronger and stronger treasures. Uh, including more and more soul shield pieces available, and um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, that was really loud. Um, and so the the main the main um, currency that you give them here is going to be the lunar twilight plant and flower, which you use to exchange for um, the soul shields along with the moonlight crystals. So, uh, HM, do you want to uh, explain a little bit about these uh, moonlight crystals? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. well, MSP 상점에서 전설 보패를 획득하려면 월광 조각이 필요한데요. 월광 조각은 이제 크게 세 종류로 나뉘는데 특정 영웅급 던전을 플레이했을 때 획득하는 부패를 분해했을 때만 얻을 수 있습니다. 전설 부패는 PVE에서 막강한 효율을 내기 때문에 이를 획득하기 위해서는 MSP뿐만 아니라 월광 조각 획득을 위해 영웅 도전 플레이도 같이 병행해야 됩니다. 어, 일단 가장 강력한 월광 조각은 아직은 획득할 수는 없는데요. 아마도 멀지 않은 시기에 만날 수 있을 겁니다. So in order to get the uh, legendary soul shield from the store, uh, you'll need moonlight crystals. Uh, there are three different types of you know, uh, moonlight crystals. Um, you'll, you can only obtain by salvaging the shields that you could get from playing in hero dungeons. And you know, because um, these, these shields are so powerful when you play you know, PvE, so in order to um, obtain them, um, you need to play not only in you know, midnight sky pedal planes, but also um, you need to play in the hero dungeons in order to get the moonlight crystals as well. Um, uh, we have, you have yet to um, be able to obtain the strongest uh, moonlight crystal, but um, you'll probably be, ab you'll be able to see them um, in the near future as well. Yeah, so you can see right here, uh, as you mentioned, the moonlight crystals are available here. You need the green one for the first three pieces, mm -hmm. the yellow for the fourth and fifth pieces, and purple for the sixth, seventh, and eighth, which are not yet available. Um, you can still get these soul shield pieces um, out of the boxes. Uh, you know, it's obviously, you know, you, you have to get lucky and get that one, but um, as we release the content, you'll be able to get it. Um, you also see this other currency in here, which is the Lunar Twilight Flower, which mm -hmm. is one of the main currencies, and it's, um, so could you explain to you how a little bit about the flowers? Uh, you can get Lunar Twilight Plants and Flower from the Killing Monster and Boss, and also from the cast. Uh, it's non-tradable, non and so you cannot buy on the marketplace, so you have to need you have to need it, and you have to get them all by yourself, and so. <laughs> <laughs> but <Relax. laughs> yeah, you can get the Luna uh, Twilight plants from the uh, daily chain da daily challenge. So yeah. play game every day, please, and do the daily cha challenge so that you can gather the your legendary soul chips. Also, there is special event which me made so you can get additional rewards so don't miss this chance i made yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes and uh so the uh, as we mentioned earlier the event they're talking about is moonlight madness event mm -hmm. which is going to run for three weeks until december 7th along with um uh, the, from the start of midnight sky pedal planes and um it, the, the event is basically just do midnight sky pedal planes and get a lot of extra rewards so um as she mentioned, you can get the, the Lunar Triad Plants from doing Daily Challenge. Also, there's no lockout. Like, for example, it's not like a weekly raid. You can run it as many times as you want. So if you want to spend a lot of time farming in there, you can. Um, let me just, I'm just going to show really quick, because people always ask to see mm -hmm. the, the outfits. Um, so you can see, you can, you can purchase these uh, for Lunar Triad Flower. And these also come from some of the boxes. Um, so I'm just going to show a little bit about the uh, outfit on each character really quick, just so. Everyone always asks, can I show both at <laughs> once? I think this one is, is great. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this thing's amazing. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't <Yes>. like it. <laughs> you don't like it? I like I it. I like it. It's great. It even um, has, I, I like the, the, the smoke the coming out of From uh, the nose. Yes. <laughs> it's really great. Um, it's, yes, yeah, really funny. Um, a little silly, but it's, it's huge on mm -hmm. Lin's. Um, 
Yeah, it's huge. Um, so maybe something a little bit more elegant. Here is the uh, Midnight Bloom clip mm -hmm. uh, right here, which is also available from this vendor. Yes, so very cute on the, on the wind, yes. Very different from the, the mm -hmm. head, the, the mat. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's mad. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, let me show it on some nails, actually, so we can see. Oh. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> very pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so t uh, talking about the event a little bit more, um, so it's actually from the same NPCs, uh, the Midnight Exchangers, so it's the same NPCs. Uh, these, these guys are scattered around the zone um, at, each of the, sorry, at each of these little posts, like uh, this uh, uh, Talus Outskirts, Talus Post, Talus Supply Post, the one I'm at now. This is where the NPCs are. They each, they each will sell the items. So let me talk to them again. This first one is um, the event tab. So this is Moonlight Madness, um, and uh, you, you're going to... The currency that you want to get is golden seeds. So if you saw earlier, um, this came from the, some of the daily quests that I picked up in front of Midnight Sky Petal Plains. These will give you golden seeds. Uh, they'll also be available from the daily challenge on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and also, um, you, and, and these um, can be used to purchase all these items. As you can see, the, the grand prize here is the Fallless uh, Sparkling Hung Hexagonal Citrine. Um, so that's a really, really nice high prize. And also the Bright Moon Headpiece. Um, so, HM, do you want to talk a little bit about the, the headpiece and why it's special? Uh, yeah. Uh, 일단 브라이트먼 어덤먼트는 2016년 한국의 명절인 추석을 기념해 제작이 되었는데요. 미국은 추석은 없지만 비슷한 의미를 가진 Thanksgiving Day가 있어서 어, 이번 이, 그 MSP 이벤트 보상에 추가하게 되었습니다. So the Bright Moon Adornment was um, created specifically for um, the Korean Harvest Moon Festival holiday for 2016. Um, although it's a Korean holiday, um, we figured um, in America there's Thanksgiving, which is a similar holiday. So that's why we thought it would be nice if we added this as an event reward for our Western players. Yeah, it's, all, it's awesome. It has a different look too on a lot of the different um, race and sex mm -hmm. combinations. Like it's it's really different on like, for example, the, the, the Lins have it really different. So yeah, this is, Definitely really cool, That's a really special one, so mm -hmm. it's available from the event. Um, other items you can get from the event are also uh, Masterwork Critical Soul Shields uh, primers, because now that you're getting these legendary soul shields, you'll want to obviously upgrade them and fuse them, so um, you'll be able to get them through the event. Um, if also, additional, in addition to that, if you are a Soul Wardens crafter, you can also use the Golden Seeds to craft uh, the legendary soul shield primers, which will give you even higher fuse values. Uh, on your soul shields, so um, really cool event. It basically goes along just you know right right with MSP. You know you run the the the, the content. You'll get these bonus items mm -hmm. um, when you're finishing. Uh, I believe Sacred Longway Stage two, four, and six. You'll get uh, bonus loot. So you get, basically get like extra chests from completing that content. So it's like you're killing it twice basically. Mm -hmm. So it's it's really really cool. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, definitely hope you guys are gonna are really excited for this content. I, I'm I know I'm just gonna live in here <laughs> once this is out. I'm just gonna play this nonstop. Um, so definitely really really excited for this um, this content. Yeah, so um, that's basically Midnight Sky Pedal Planes. Yeah, our first 24 player content. So super super excited about that. Um, so now let's jump into some of the other changes that we're coming with the patch. So. Uh, one of the changes is going to be dealing with uh, Zen beans. So, um, yes. HM, do you want to talk a little bit about uh, yeah. that? 일단 선두 보상이 음, 전장에 매 상대적으로 보상이 낮아서 상향을 하게 되었고요. 또 선두로 살수 있는 폭풍 조각을 추가해서 일단 PVP 컨텐츠의 양대 산맥인 전장과 비무 어느 쪽을 플레이를 하든 폭풍 조각으로 용오름 그 용오름 보패와 폭풍 무기를 획득하여 일단 전장을 전장에서 활약할 수 있는 그런 환경을 만들어 주는데 주력을 해왔습니다. We felt that the Zen Bean rewards were a bit too low, so that's why um, we made adjustments to that. And then we also, you can now um, buy Galaxy Fragments with the Zen Beans, so that you know, regardless of whether you know, um, you, you're on one-on-one -on -one or six-on-six six six, um, content, um, you could use the Galaxy Fragments to purchase Rowan Soul Shield and Galaxy Weapon as well. So what we wanted to do was we wanted players in the one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, equip themselves for six and six mm -hmm. as well. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, so like he mentioned, um, you can see on the screen that uh, Galaxy Fragments are now available from the Zenbean vendor uh, for 250 Zenbeans each. You do have to be uh, silver or higher to, to buy it, but that can be in either the 1v1 or 3v3. It's in both of the vendors. So you can see, um, yeah, so like they mentioned, you can, you, it, it, you, obviously you're trying to get, you know, your Galaxy weapon or you're trying to get uh, your Whirlwind Soul Shields and um, you can do it with either type of content. Um, so that's that's a really nice change. I know I, I've been saving up Zen beans, uh, <laughs> so I can buy a lot of fragments. Um, another change that's happening is, uh, as you guys know, uh, PvP fans and, and, and esports fans, they mm -hmm. the dev team worked super super hard to get us spectator mm -hmm. mode, mm -hmm. uh, and, and from that we were able to run some of our first community tournaments. Um, so we, they also we've also been gathering feedback that the community has been sending us, and, and we've passed it mm -hmm. along to them, and they reviewed it. So there's going to be some improvements made to the spectator UI. Yes. Actually, as already told, already Donata explained that uh, spectator mode is developed due to requests from the North American and European, and also because of that, we added a new uh, uh, additional function which can hide a partial UI from the spectator mode. Uh, it is also de uh, de developed it due to the first feedback from your side, and this function is added on North America at the first time. <laughs> That's good news. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's uh, you know some of the spectator controls at the mm -hmm. bottom of the screen, the UI. Now you're able to hide that for like a, a better ca like casting experience or a tournament just, watching experience. Just push it a button. Yeah, one button. Easy. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's really awesome. Um, some of the other stuff that we're doing is um, doing a little bit of overhaul of the premium membership tab in Dragon Express. So um, mm -hmm. HM, would you like to explain some uh, of yeah. the changes? Premium membership tab이 점차 상품이 계속 축적되어 가는데요. 물론 이전에도 이제 신공패가 추가되면서 워낙 아이템 리스트가 많다 보니까 그거를 이제 불 탭을 분리해서 이제 좀 상품의 
Yeah, so I, yeah, while we, while we were, um, you know, introducing all the changes, uh, Bethany and Justin were, were kind enough to spawn a second turtle for us, so thank you for <laughs> thank that. Thank you. <laughs> Just to hopefully get to give the viewers a little extra, mm -hmm. extra to see. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bethany is saying you can do it. He's going solo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, kind of. I'll, I'll just be a cinematic camera over here. Good call. Good call. Bethany's in my shot, but you know, it's okay. Yeah, so this is the. Uh, the, the this is. You can see it says Rage Level 2. Oh! Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, it's, it's going to be a little bit tougher. You know, it has more HP, its abilities are going to do a little, little bit more damage. Oh, God. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's a really, really, really cool fight. Um, I think it's almost uh, dead. Yes. Almost there. Almost got it. 23% life <laughs> remaining. Um, oh, oh. I need to back up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got out. Ooh. Sorry, this is a lot of the oh, turtle's butt. <laughs> that was an aw oh. awesome attack. Oh. Oh. Please, please, please. Oh. Turtle's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finish it off. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Good job. It's tired. Good job. Good job, yes. It's it, 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 on my keyboard. <laughs> it's on your keyboard. <laughs> yes. Very nicely done. Yeah, so you just uh, took out the second uh, turtle. Um, mm -hmm. So you can see... Um, oh, I don't, I don't have the loot, but the, you can see the, the different levels of loot. Um, you know, it's, it's going to... I showed them a little bit earlier, but they're going to get better and better mm -hmm. as you... Um, as you can defeat higher and higher levels of the turtle, but obviously it's going to be a lot harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, that pretty much kind of kind of sums up this update. You know, Midnight Sky Pedal Point. So um, overall, it's been a really really great year. Obviously, we launched Void and Soul uh, in North America and Europe. Yes. Um, we've brought so much new content. We brought Silver Frost Mountains. We brought 66 Battlegrounds. We brought countless dungeons, gear, legendaries. Um, a lot. <laughs> so yes, you, I, I don't know, like, um, and I just want to say thank you to both of you for working really, really hard and bringing the game um, over here and just being really awesome with all of our requests and our feedback and everything. So it's been great. So um, I mean, you th so it's, I mean, we've already accomplished so much this year. I, I you think um, think you guys are done for the year. Um, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Uh, we are in good, we are in big holiday soon, so there is great present which can uh, satisfy your soul. So don't forget us, and then you can get more, meet more contents, and get some present. All right, yeah. So we're not done for the year. We might yes. have, we have, a, we have, I think, I think they have a little bit more special surprise more. for you guys <laughs> before the end of the year. So don't worry. Mm -hmm. um, this won't be the this won't. We'll have, we're definitely gonna be have something in store for you guys. So. Um, like I said, once again, seriously, thank you guys for everything that you do, and I uh, just want to give you guys this chance to say anything you would like to say to the players. Uh, it's been about a year, almost a year, since we started um, our, our service in North America and Europe. Um, starting from CVT, we've done a lot of great things, um, but I still feel that um, there's a lot more work to do. Um, I'm excited to um, think that what I do um, brings a lot of excitement to you guys as well. Mm, yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah, <you're changing. laughs> me? My turn? Yes. Uh, so we are trying to our best to listen in your voice and to apply your voice on our game. So our dev team is always open the eyes and the ear. So don't hesitate to give us feedback a lot. <laughs> it would be happy to give us some compliment. <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> and we we'll try to improve our service services and make it better. We we'll try. 
Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely pass along any of, the, <laughs> any of those compliments. So yeah, send us all <laughs> compliments, and then we'll, we'll make sure that they get them. Yeah, I try. <laughs> I try my best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that that kind of wraps it up. Um, that's going to be the Midnight Sky Pedal Planes uh, content update. As uh, as I mentioned before, it releases next Wednesday, November sixteenth, along with new treasure trove, new pets, mm -hmm. uh, new legendary soul shield. So a lot of new content. And like I said, we're we're not quite done for the rest of the year. So we got a little mm -hmm. bit something left for you guys. So. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, make sure you're always following the, the Twitch channel. Make sure you're following us on Facebook uh, so you get all the latest updates. Uh, we'll be putting the video up on YouTube after, after um, as soon as we're done with it. So, yeah, just from all of us over here, thank you so much for continuing to support us. And thank you guys for thank coming you. all the way over here and uh, working on the game with us. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Right, thank <laughs> you very much. Thanks for, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.